Hey y'all, I'm Chan. You're watching Made by Chan. And we're just gonna have a chatty, chill, catch-up video today. Because this is the first video that I am going to film and upload in real time in like months. Like since May. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I had to go back and like check the dates on my footage. But the two-piece set, I started that at the beginning of July. I mean, I'm prepared for one. But <laughs> I'm also ahead of the game a little bit too much. <laughs> So the first half of this video is just going to be a catch up and then the second half is going to be sewing plans and a fabric haul because since May, by the way, today's August 1st. So <laughs> since May, I've acquired a couple of fabrics. So in June, I made my ball gowns. I went to San Diego for a friend's wedding. It was an African wedding. So I needed two dresses because there was two ceremonies. I loved my dresses so much. Ugh, I, I Part of me is thinking about chopping the ball gown to like a mini length so that I can like wear it more often because I don't have that many occasions to wear ball gowns. <laughs> so yeah, I went to San Diego. It was my first time there. I had a great time. And then I also went to Disneyland. I'm a huge Disney buff. If you've known me for any amount of time, <laughs> you probably know that more if you follow me on Instagram, not so much on YouTube, but yeah, I had a great time there. So moving on, I've had a couple realizations in my sewing journey, which has been eye-opening, <laughs> let's say that. <laughs> it started with Mother's Day. Basically the dress I was making did not turn out right. And it was the 11th hour and I could not fix it. So I had to wake up early and go to the store and buy a dress because we had so much going on that day and I was like, I will never be in this scenario again. And then I had a chat with the stylist and I, we've come to the conclusion <laughs> that I can make dresses and clothing for something, but I don't need to make all my clothes and that's okay. And I know as a sewist, we feel like we do need to make our, all of our clothes, but we don't have to y'all. Like there's some things I'm never gonna make. Like I'm never gonna make leggings for the gym. I'm not gonna make my own sports bras. Like I'm just not that girl. I learned this the most of like trying to figure out what patterns I like and like where the gaps in my wardrobe are. Whereas I got tagged in the five handmade essentials and I don't have five handmade essentials. <laughs> I don't make anything twice. I don't know if that's good or bad. Like. I know new patterns drop and you constantly want to make new things and because it's like shiny, bright and new. But also I should occasionally like, I spent so much time perfecting the fit of the pattern, like I should make it again. So I'm trying to make the same thing twice occasionally. Not always going to film it, but, but yeah, with the handmade essentials, I was like, you've made your perfect shorts like four times at this point. You have not seen them, <laughs> but I wear them all the time. And I don't have any tops that I make normally because I, that's the whole thing. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and I do have dresses I wear all the time and I don't have a wild card. So we're, we're, I'm working on fixing that. I don't want to be that person. Okay, before we get, well, actually no, we can start with the sewing plans. So this is, this is for you all who are only interested in the, <laughs> my sewing plans as well as my little miniature fabric haul. The first thing I want to bring up, I would actually really love your opinion and feedback on this, is I love pajamas. Like, when I see a piece of fabric, my first thought is this would make great pajamas. I like the really traditional old school ones with like piping on them. I like little tank tops with ruffles and frills on them. Love pajamas. So I want to do a pajama series where I try out the popular pajama pattern. This is ambitious, <laughs> but... The patterns I already have in mind are the Carolyn pajamas. I have so much fabric to make the Carolyn pajamas with and I have started them twice. They're like the only people besides Sassy, ooh, I can't remember their name, but like Sassy something that makes a version of pajamas that look like this. McCall's has one. I have made that pattern. It's okay. I, I have those and then Anna the Taylor has one with that. It's just like ruffle pajamas with a tank top and shorts. So I'm going to make those. And then, is it Megan Nielsen has a tank and shorts? Yeah. So any suggestions you all have, please let me know. Put them in the comments. And I want to do like four or five pair because I make myself a pair of Christmas pajamas every year. I'm also thinking about making Halloween pajamas. So I'm excited. Please share your thoughts, how you feel about this. It's going to be great. I already know. <laughs> Let's get into the fabric and the sewing plans. So for the sewing plans, I have a couple things coming up that I have to make clothing for. The first thing, well, the second thing, because we talked about the PJ series. 
my birthday is at the end of the month. You know, that means I'm making a dress. <laughs> So the dress I'm making is inspired by Oscar de la Renta again. He is my go-to couture designer for fancy occasions. I love their stuff so much. If you are paying attention to pop culture wedding dresses <laughs> for the past couple years, there's one dress that's really po that was really popular. It's called the Fern Dress and I just love that dress so much. It's a wedding dress, but it's just so beautiful. And I've had it pinned and saved ever since it came out. I have found some fern dress fabric. So I picked up this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. They still have it right now if you're interested, but it is so close with the fern print. I think they call it the botanical print. So the dress is going to be mini length, of course, and I want it to be poofy. We're gonna do a couple things different than what I did last year. I'll get into more of it in the video because of course I'm making a video, but I will not be doing a built-in petticoat, which I know is like, what? Because couture, all of it is built-in from what I've learned for the ball gown video. Because the thought is that you're not going to need foundation garments. It's, it's all built-in, you just put it on. But I'm not doing that <laughs> because that was, <laughs> that was a lot of work that, didn't need to happen. I just didn't have the skill set at the time and the knowledge to know that there were other options. And now I, I do still love that dress, but I look at it and I can tell all the things I did wrong with it. And that's what happens as you grow and progress. So very excited about that. I'm going to start working on that maybe this weekend, <laughs> actually. And then next, I am going to do a fix my fail for this top that I made for spring, but I think part of the reason why this is a fail is because I picked the wrong fabric, if I'm being quite honest. But I do have, I think, three more yards of this fabric. I have to check. I have a lot of it. Again, a purchase I bought on sale with no plan. Uh, <laughs> so this one I'm going to deconstruct and then use the parts as well as the other fabric for the Vicky Sews Lend dress. I'm really into shift and sheath dresses right now. And the Vicky Sews Lend is a sheath dress. And that, I I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I also think it's a really good base for like other dresses I wanna make, cause I saw some stuff on J. Crew and Kate Spade. And I was like, this is my style. <laughs> These are my people. So I'm very happy they're popular right now because I wanna make a few. And I think if you pop some sleeves on it, it goes well into fall. For those of you who are new here, I live in Texas. It's 106 degrees right now, and it's gonna be until, they predict until early October. So my fall is gonna be delayed, which we'll talk about that at the end because I'm kind of trying to figure out how to do content for you all when it's not going to be cold <laughs> for me. Next up, I have this fabric, which is a really light cotton that's of a seersucker weight. It's also like, I don't know, it's not too see-through, but it's a little see-through. It has these beautiful stripes on it. Now, originally I bought this thinking I was gonna remake my um, tiered ODLR dress. And that was the plan, but I also now feel like this would make really great pajamas. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very summery, the print. And so I have to make it right now if I am going to be able to wear it this year. Otherwise I'm gonna have to wait till next year. So we'll see. If you see this in pajama month, then that's what I ended up doing. But if not, Another big project I have for next month that I don't have the fabric for yet because I'm still deciding what to do is I'm going to see Beyonce. And what's funny is I had not thought about making my own outfit, but everyone else around me just assumed I was going to. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, I guess I should make an outfit for Beyonce. I have a couple ideas floating around in my mind. Of I, I knew originally what I was going to wear and then I saw her wear something and I was like, that would be so much easier if I wore that. <laughs> I'm between just a silver, well, it's gonna be just a silver bustier, but now it might be like a mirrored bustier, we'll see. Or she recently wore like a um, silver sequin tank top and shorts and that would definitely be the easier route to go. We'll see. Next, I have this Red Bull Paper Co fabric and this is just a cotton with peacocks. It is actually the same print that my wallpaper is, <laughs> just in a different colorway. <laughs> I bought this not knowing what I want to make, but now I know. So I saw this dress on Allie Provost. She 
I love her style. It's ultra feminine and colorful and just classic but fun. That's exactly how I would describe my style. She wore this dress and yes, it's by Oscar De La Renta. <laughs> I didn't know it when I saw it, but I was like, oh, that dress is pretty, who makes that? And the print is kind of the same type of fun. Like they actually do have a print that's a little bit more similar, but I'm trying not to buy all the fabric all the time. It's just gonna be, it's a simple bodice with just sleeves, like three quarter sleeves, and then a tiered skirt and a belt. And I could definitely wear that until fall. And so I'm gonna make that very exciting. I think it's gonna be really cute. <laughs> and I'm, I'm into ultra feminine dresses right now with a little bit of cork. So that's the plan. And then next up, I have this fabric, which is a rayon that I picked up from Joann's. It's part of their fall collection. Okay, I know I say this a lot, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm actually going to make the M7974 and it's just gonna be a fall dress because I'm tired of saying I wanna make it and I'm actually just going to make it because that's an example of a dress that I know is going to be a lot of work to fit, which is why I keep putting it off. And it has so many buttons on it, but I also think it's so cute. So I'm going to make it, just need to get over myself and make the dress. I have three more fabrics, they're all rayons. So I picked these up from the um, Dallas Fabric District. This is, I know, where did I go? Fabriktopia, Fabriktopia just got rayons and I was like, I'm gonna buy them all. <laughs> So this is just a floral print. This I wanna use for my pajama series. I have not decided if this will be a light Carolyn pajamas or if this is going to be like a tank top or a slip dress. I sleep kinda of hot, so I'm, I'm in shorts and short sleeves or like a tank or I will occasionally wear long sleeves if it's a night shirt, but it has to be very cold outside for me to do that. <laughs> But that's the plan for this. And then I have this rayon, which has no plan. <laughs> it's very similar to the last one. I bought enough to make another M7974 if I want to, because I love florals, but we'll see. I understand two black floral M7974s is a bit much, but you know, maybe I'll find a different dress that also looks good in this rayon. <laughs> we'll see. And then this, I really love polka dots. I have only two yards of this. I have two ideas. I may make a Sharon dress for Vicky Sews, or I might make the Lynn dress out of this. We'll see, because I am trying to be conscious that the fall is coming. There is a snack in my rayon. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> Fix that. But we'll see. So it had a plan and then it changed. I'm trying to stop buying fabrics with no plan, unless they are fabrics that I've been wanting for a long time and they go on sale. So those are my sewing plans and a little bit of a fabric haul. I've collected that over the last couple months and I'll show you everything that I collect for the fall fabrics once I'm done buying all of them. I haven't started because I acknowledge that a budget should be necessary occasionally and I also have not made everything. <laughs> I think that's another thing I'm gonna do is look, we'll still do, I don't really do tutorials anymore, but I'll still do like sew alongs, but sewing vlogs, I don't have to go into the nitty gritty as much. And so I can make more things in one video. Like I wanna make another Barbie dress. I know you all would like to see that just based on the analytics, but I'm not gonna make another full video about it. So that's the plan so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed catching up and leave your comments down below for uh, pajama pattern suggestions. I've told you my requirements. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.